Hi guys, welcome to the channel and to the energy update for my friends Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. So let's take a look at your no contact situation, current energies for your person, Nine of Wands and the Ace of Cups. Well, the Wounded Warrior, the Wounded Warrior is missing you, big time. They can be on the fence about the opportunity to reach out, guys. Uh, they can lack a little bit of confidence, we can say that. They would love to say that they are still in love with you though, Ace of Cups. Major gift from the heart. This person struggled big time with their feelings. If we think about the connection with you, either because they couldn't give them the proper voice or because they couldn't show up properly along the connection and some of you didn't like that. Now they can feel guilty and they can have a ton of regrets. Your absence is something that this person can struggle with big time, but maybe there were disagreements between the two of you along the connection, especially if we think about the level of effort that was necessary in order to be successful together. This person though can think that you are irreplaceable. This is something powerful guys, and maybe you can still have this person in high regards, but um, this is not a sufficient factor in favor of the opportunity to give this connection a new chance. Uh, it's like the two of you may have to sit down at the table in order to talk things out in a major conversation. We got the orator, oracle card, communication, confidence, what this person may want, communication, but they need confidence. So the Queen of Wands, spoiler alert, is the energy that this person must manifest if they want to have a real chance. The Mascareri, hiding your true self. It's about this person and their emotional side. It's like they realized what they lost as soon as you went away. This is unfortunate because now <laughs> there can be more challenges to face in order to reconnect. Veil Oracle card. This person can have a difficult time if we think about the opportunity to express their feelings. It's gonna be necessary if they want to reconnect with you. The Bell Oracle card can be a signal, indeed, one of the keywords. You will have to figure out if it is a positive signal, uh, the one about the opportunity to reconnect with this person, or if it is a kind of negative one, because maybe you are fed up with how this person works. What's holding them back? Seven of Wands and the Eight of Pentacles. Uh, they kind of fear your reaction, guys, because the Seven of Wands can be almost an energy that can follow a scenario that can be about pointing fingers at each other, you know? So this person may fear that you can have some resentment towards them because of how things went between the two of you. The core of the issue is the level of effort that this person in particular should put in favor of your connection to be more successful because maybe you have asked for more effort and dedication along the connection, but they fell short. So the nine of wands can be in this particular version about the fact that a person is running out of idea in order to save the day. This person can be aware of the fact that even if they have genuine feelings for you, they may not be in the position to offer you something really different if we think about the mindset that they can bring in favor of a romantic connection. It can be difficult to find more productive agreements. And if this person is not completely honest with themselves and with you guys following the mask type of oracle card that we got, it can be extremely difficult for them to be successful. So, will they reach out? Queen of Wands and the Temperance. If we follow the necessity to gather the courage and the confidence in order to reach out, this person may find a way to do that in order to show up 
in a way that can be deserving of your attention. If we follow the Twin Oracle card, guys, self-protection is the keyword that can play a role in this reading for you. Because you may be cautious. So it can be a concept that follows the dragon that we see in the Queen of Wands card. You may see the opportunity to reconnect with this person as a risky move because you may still have doubts that this person can back up their words about the opportunity to do things in a better way. And this is something that you will have to evaluate carefully, guys, because this person wants to mend the connection. They want to fix it. They want to heal the connection, the temperance. They can try to say that now they have found a different balance in their life and this can be helpful in order for them to be more productive even in the connection with you. It can even be a matter of finances and professional endeavors in order to have more stability, you know. They can be understandable factors, guys. It seems that it seems that this person may try to pick the perfect words in order to give you the perception that they are different, but some of you may not buy that. And even if they say that without you, they are lost because you are irreplaceable, you can acknowledge that, but you may still be more drawn to the potential decision to say to this person, look, no hard feelings, no bad blood, I wish you well, but the no contact situation didn't allow me to re-evaluate your mindset as something that can truly be in favor of a reconciliation. So it's basically like this person can struggle without you way more then you can struggle without them. And this is something that can play a decisive role in the final decision that some of you will have to make. Because this person can offer you the opportunity to try again, but you may not be impressed. Because the disagreements that may have played a role along the connection can almost work as a ringing bell. And if that's the case, the ringing bell can be an alarm, not in favor of the opportunity to reconnect with this person in order to share plans for the future. The twins can even be about two different uh, perspectives. As an oracle card, we have one eye open and the other one closed, in some sense, dual natures. I would say different perspectives. It can be difficult to match. This person can be genuine, guys, but maybe, maybe they got their chance. It was not possible for the two of you to be successful. And maybe some of you are not willing to overlook those nuances and if you ask me you shouldn't you shouldn't overlook those nuances because they happened for certain reasons and the connection struggled for certain reasons that should be remembered then your decision can be slightly easier this person is fighting against the odds but they can reach out and then you will have to offer them a feedback so guys, I hope that I made myself clear and this was helpful somehow, some way. If you want to comment, like and subscribe, it will help our channel to grow. So thank you. And until next time, I wish you all the best. Take very good care of you and I will talk to you soon. Bye.